Hello viewers, welcome to Suman TV. My name is Padma Avati from Sharp Minds Abacus Narayan Guda. Today I am going to teach you a two digit multiplications in Vedic Mass. This is one of the important concept of Vedic Mass where you can do multiplication by doing, uh, by following this method. Okay. And this is very easy. First I will show you the patterns. So these are called the patterns. So in the first pattern, we took four dots. Okay. CMR Shopping Mall, Man Haik Nagarlo, Bhagilata Kaman Pakana, February 20th. Pramukha Sini Tharala Chek Goppa Prarambham. And the last two dots we have joined. Okay. In the next pattern, we did a cross multiplication. Okay. In the third step, we took the first two dots. And see, the first method is, the first step is, according to the patterns we have to take. Okay. So now, 6 into 7. Yeah, 6 7 is 42. Okay. So whenever we get two digits, we have to carry forward one digit to the next step. Okay. In the next step, we have to do cross multiplication. So 1 into 9, 1 into 7 plus 6 into 2. So 1 into 7 is 7 plus 6 into 2 is 12. Okay. So if you add both, you will get 19. Okay, and the carry forward number that is the 4, we will add it here. So it will become 23. So again, we got two digits. So we will carry forward the first digit to the next step. So in the third step, same uh, the pattern we have to follow here 1 into 2. 1 into 2 is 2. This carry forward number we will add it here. This will become 4. So, always remember in Vedic Mass, we will take the answer from the last. So, 4, 3, 2 is the answer. So, again I will repeat. First, draw the patterns. So, these patterns are very useful for you to understand the concept. So, here I am, I took 4 dots. First, I have joined the last 2 dots. And in the second step, here we are doing cross multiplication. In the third step, here we are doing the first Two dots, yeah, and the first step is 6 into 7 according to the pattern. So, last two digits we are taking. So, this is the ones place. So, 6 into 7 is 42. So, whenever we get two digits, we will carry forward the first digit to the next step, okay. In the second step, we have cross multiplication. So, in cross multiplication, 1 into 7, yeah, plus 6 into 2, okay. 1 into 7 is 7 and 6 into 2 is 12, okay. So, we got the answer as 19, okay. For this 19, we have to, uh, the carry forward number 4 should be added here, okay. This will become 23. Again, see, we got two digits. So, what to do? First number, we have to again carry forward to the next step. So, in the last step, we have 1 into 2 according to the pattern, okay. So, the tens place, we are taking 1 into 2, that is equal to 2. The carry forward number 2 will be added here. So, it will become 4. So, we are taking the answer from the last. So, 4, 3, 2 is the answer. See this. Again, we are following the patterns. Okay. These patterns are very useful. You can solve any type of sum that it can be 2 digits or 3 digits by using this technique. Okay. So, here same thing we will do. The first step is unit digit multiplication that is 3 into 8. That will become 24, okay. So, we got two digits. So, now we are carry forwarding the first digit to the next step. So, in the next step, we have cross multiplication. So, for cross multiplications, you have to 4 into 8. Yeah, hope you can understand 4 into 8 and 3 into 2 plus 3 into 2. So, 4 into 8 is 32 plus 3 into 6 is 3 into 2 is 6, okay. So, 32 plus 6 is 38. So, we have to add this number, yeah, here. So, that will become 40. If you add 38 plus 2, it will become 40. So, again, we have two digits. So, we will carry forward first digit to the next level, okay. So, in the third step, we have 4 into 2, the uh, tens digit multiplication. That is 4 into 2. That is 8 plus the carry forward number, we will add it here. It will become 12, okay. So, the answer is, so we will take the answer from the last 1, 2, 0, 4. 
So I'll explain this some once again. First we have to draw the patterns. So first we took the patterns like this. Then the first step is 3 into 8. According to the pattern I am taking 3 into 8. So that is 24. Whenever we get two digits we are, we are um, carrying forward to the next step. Okay. So in the next step we have 4 into 8 and 3 into 2. So 4 into 8 is nothing but 32 and 3 into 2 is 6. That will become 38. The carry forward number we will add it here. So it will become 40. Again we got two digits. So first digit we will carry forward to the next step. So in the last step according to the pattern we have tens digit multiplication. Okay. So 4 into 2 that is equal to 8 plus the carry forward number we are adding here. This will become 12. So always remember we will take the answer from the last. So 1, 2, 0, 4 is the answer. Yes. Is it not that easy? Now we will see the next sum. So the first step is unit digit multiplication. Now 8 into 8. So that will be 64. So if the first uh, we have to carry forward this first number to the next step. So in the next step we have cross multiplication. So 8 into 8 less 8 into 9. So 8 8 is a 64 plus 8 9 is a 72. So if you add both of them it will be 136. So the carry forward number that is 6 will be added here. Okay. So now it will become 142. So see here we got 3 digits now. Okay. This is very important that whenever you get 3 digits you have to carry forward 2 digits. The first 2 digits to the next step. So in the next step we have the unit uh, sorry the tens digit multiplication that is 8 into 9. 8 9 is a 72 plus the carry forward number is 14. So it will become 86. Okay. So the answer is 8, 6, 2, 4. So we have to take the answer from the last. Okay. So I like again explain this sum. So here according to the pattern we will solve the sum. Okay. In the first step we have 8 into 8. See the pattern. We have the last that is the unit digit multiplication. So 8 into 8 is 64. So whenever we get two digits you have to uh, carry forward the first digit to the next level. Okay. In the next step we have uh, we have to do cross multiplication according to the pattern. Okay. So 8 into 8 that is 8 into 8 is 64 plus now 8 into 9 that is 72. If you add both the numbers it will become 136. Okay. The carry forward number we will add it here. So it will become 142. So whenever we get 3 digits we have to carry forward 2 digits to the next step. Okay. In the last step we have 8 into 9. So according to the pattern that is the tens rod. Okay. So here we are doing 8 into 9 that is 72 plus the carry forward number is 14. So it will become 86. So always remember we will take the answer from the last. So the answer is 8624. Till now we will choose So I want you to uh, uh, follow this pattern and solve the sums. Okay. We get a doubt in the comment section in the comment pattern and uh, try to do some sums with two digits. Okay. Uh, and answers and questions in the comment section.